I want people to know I am not a woman. I am not a drag queen. I am just a gay African-American male who likes to wear wigs, wear nails, wear makeup. I just like to look pretty, okay? Let's clear it up. Boss bitch, boss bitch, all I ever be. Boss bitch, boss bitch, Fendi Louis V. I am Cliff Amir. I am a 21-year-old boy boss. I'm a celebrity hairstylist known for my frontals and just my sleek, super laid hairstyles. I've done everyone from Trina, Miss Nikki Baby, Cardi B, Jocelyn Hernandez, Little Mo, Marlo Hampton, Alexa Skye, Samarella, Molly Brazy, Amor Jada. I've done so many people. My businesses include hair classes, celeb appointments, hem lashes, hem hair. Anything involving hair, Cliff Vermeer is doing it. And that's what led me to my first million dollars. I'm hair royalty because I'm me. I mean, who else is 21 doing what I'm doing? I have a photo shoot today to promote my brand. And normally it could take me anywhere from two to three hours to get ready. So I got a lot to do. Now watch me wig out. Cliff, I'm trying to get these orders together. All right, what's wrong? I need the printer. I need the printer paper. Do we still have the shipping labels, like the stickies, or? No, we're gonna have to use paper. Kenji literally does everything for me. She ships my orders. She sometimes answers emails. She does posts for me sometimes. She goes above and beyond for me. Everything yeah, um, has to go up today, basically. Yeah, everything I'll be done today. Cause somebody just tried to dispute their money. I didn't get the orders out because I didn't know where the printer was. I didn't know where the paper was. Be like, you know what I'm saying? Keep everything moving. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Look at you with your Burberry, you girl. Know. Right, you yeah. need the most. You ain't the only one styling around here. Okay, honey, you got your heels on. Monique is my manager and Ebony is my PR. They're stopping by to let me know what's going on with my brand. I want to know, you know, what's on the horizon? What do they have cooking up for me? So what's been going on? One of the main things that we got to focus on is now that we got your following back. Right. That was a big f***ing deal. And the day my page got hacked, I could have fought every person that came my way. So when my Instagram got hacked, I kind of knew something crazy was going on with it. So I signed out, and when I signed back in, it said, your account has been disabled. I was devastated. I mean, it impacted a lot. I really felt like I wasn't going to get it back, so that's when I right. made my new one. And you built up, like, what, almost 100,000 followers in less than a week. Our goal should be in the next three months to get you to a million. Yeah. Oh, yeah, That totally. should be easy. Or you need to start posting. Definitely. You gotta start engaging. When you put up a picture of you doing Cardi B's, like, rainbow hair, mm -hmm. how that just goes bananas, right. you know what I mean? You know, I can grow it even more. Yeah, yeah absolutely. You can. Feasible. One thing that you need to do, though, too, to show appreciation mm -hmm. is, like, a fan follower appreciation party. Because mm -hmm. your type of people like to have fun. We should think about doing it over the next couple of weeks. Yeah, I agree. Really? Yeah. Yeah. There'll be more than enough people trying to sign up to come. The fan appreciation party is all about, like, giving back, you know? Cliff being able to come up and personally touch his fans, talk to his fans, take pictures with his fans, interact with his fans, and they are going to love it. So we're sold out on your classes, which is great. Really? Yes. Yes! That's sold really out. good. I started doing these hair classes when I was about 16 years old. Literally, from the time I was 16 to now, they're still sold out. How many people is it? It's at capacity. You're not trying to tell me? No, because you'll be like, oh, we can squeeze in this person. No, y'all gotta it's prepare me. me. I want to teach everybody. Like, these okay, are my but followers. Okay, that, but that's the perfect thing. You just said you want to teach everybody, yes. and that's the reason why we're going to take it into a tour. I feel like we could take it to LA, we could take it to London, yes. we could take it to Paris. The seminar is important because this is what Cliff is known for. I mean, this is his claim to fame, and everyone wants to know his secrets. But we got to execute and we got to be for real. Yes, We're missing time. out on opportunity. One of the main things that I wanted to talk to you about, too, you need to get your own salon. Either way it go, we've already booked the salon. What the f is wrong with them? Like, that is really crazy. No, but how are y'all just going to book a salon you for need me? To, because Marlo contacted Ebony she the did. other day. And okay. she gets her hair done. I can go to her Shekai house. No, no, no. But that's no. the whole you thing. You guys, these are extra bills. Telling me to have a salon is cute and all. But it's like having a baby. I'm not ready to have a baby. It's extra income. Just trust us. We need to expand his brand. And expanding his brand is expanding his business so that we can expand that bank account. We're getting that damn salon. I think I need some time to sleep on it. I got the dolls coming over here. The brass. 
on the brat. Yeah, I gotta discuss the photo shoot and things with them. Don't get carried away because right. we're gonna have to use these pictures for a lot of marketing right. opportunities. Branding. And I know you told Ebony, you didn't tell me that you wanted the Atlanta brats in some of the photos. I did, honey, and what's the problem? Yeah, the Atlanta brats, they're just a group of kids that hang out with Cliff, that think they're grown, and I love them to death but they get on my nerves. Enough, enough. 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 You gonna kick us out? Get the oh my thing. God. That is fine <laughs> with me. I prefer being called a he, okay? Like, he is the baddest bitch, okay? I would be she if I got titties. Right now, I'm he. My mind is all over the place, and I'm not feeling like myself. And on top of that, I'm waiting on Jade and Kenji to arrive so we can prep for this photo shoot. Hello. I did not tell you about walking in my house like you're crazy. Girl, shut up. It's no girl. Why are y'all late? Nobody is late. Gee, I had class. Y'all supposed to be here about time is uh, 45 minutes is not a couple oh, minutes. We have a whole photo shoot. Jade is my best friend of 10 years. I feel like when anybody mentions Jay's name, you're crossing the line. The photo shoot is for pop-up shops, and you know, basically, we're gonna be using this picture yes. to market. We are wearing all denim, all black. We're gonna wear a couple of things. And you're gonna come looking like Jean on Jean. <laughs> if you have a Jean tail, wear that. <laughs> shit too. Okay. And what are you wearing? <laughs> Don't worry, baby. What are we doing with my hair? Like, Kenji's getting pressed out. You're not getting oh, that. Yeah. Attitude. I didn't have this. You I didn't have this. You're gonna go looking like wet in my. Wait, I just had this wig for like three weeks, Who bitch. Who cares? <laughs> she's getting tired. Oh, well, she's just gonna stay tired. A Vermeer doll is basically a model that represents me when I'm not around. And it's a damn privilege because you get free hair. You, you know, I do photo shoots with you. I take you on trips. Honey, you get the best of everything. Right now, Kenji is a Vermeer doll. She gets anything she wants. I'm straightening about six bundles of 48 inches on Kenji. Whoo, child. And right now, I'm tired. So, Kenji, wait, you didn't or you did ship the order? No, I was about to go, but my class ran over, so I couldn't go. I didn't have enough time. We all got shit to do, but we all also have responsibilities. Every day we get orders, they have to get shipped out the same day. He's a boss bitch. Like, he's so tough on me. My bad. It's like, okay, Kenji. Class. I know, I know it's, you had class. Finals are coming up. I'm trying to make sure I get everything that I need to get. You go, Kenji. I try, y'all. Part of me is very, very bothered, but the other part of me is like, come on, Cliff. She has class. This is like something that she has to do. You know what I'm saying? I can't get mad at her for having to do her everyday life. Guess we just moved in. Who? Oh. Nice stacks on the track. Ooh. Oh, oh man. man. She want like more for her career, and I kind of can see it. Yeah. I told her I'm willing to help her, but I need to see that she's dedicated. I heard you bitch was looking for me, bitch. bitch. Here I go. Nye was my old hair assistant back when I was 16, but things didn't work out too well. I felt like she didn't respect me as a boss. So a couple years went past without us talking, and Nye hits me up saying she wants to move to Atlanta. So I felt like, okay, let's give it a try. So you know how that goes with living with your friends. It's gonna be, you know, eventually I want my own space. Yeah. But I'm thinking, I wanna like put like a rush on things because it's kinda like- Two motherfucking weeks! There should be no days you sitting around like, I'm bored, I'm tired. Like, tired is for the rich, okay? <laughs> you gotta work your ass off. If she up being my assistant, I'm sending her ass back home. So, does anybody know Zion's coming to the shoot? Yeah, he is. How's he been? It's been some things going on. Zion is definitely the rowdy one of the group. He is obnoxious. He is letting you know he is in the motherfucking building. He was like, I, I ain't, I'm, I'm not friends with none of them bitches. Ooh. No, he didn't. He was like, well, my problem is with King. He was like, it's not even really a problem. It's just that I don't consider her a friend. Why is it that it's my name that's being called out? Like, oh, I don't like her. I don't fool with her. Because one time me and him stopped being friends, and he messaged Kenji about a video or something, and Kenji didn't respond because me and him weren't talking. And he told me he felt like he can't trust her because he feels like they should have continued to still keep talking. So he basically said you hurt his feelings. So I really wouldn't consider you to be my friend either. Right. But the fact that it was just my name that was called out, you, that, kinda... that's really what it is. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It's just like me out of all people. I'm probably like the nicest person, honestly. Zion has a really good heart, but I feel like sometimes the way how he comes off, like when it comes to like me having other friends, mm -hmm. I feel like sometimes he may get like a little jealous or he may want me to himself oh. and things. I just feel like Clifford needs to put boundaries 
boundaries on I'm gonna have other friends and you know what I'm saying? And it's like you shouldn't like act like that. Like it's okay to have other friends. Zion and Kenji, I feel like everybody can just talk about it amongst each other at the photo shoot and I feel like it's something that could just be squashable. If everybody can just get along for the sake of me, then everybody should be good. Well, we'll see you at the shoot. Oh, oh, can hit me with your hair? It's, uh, it's 48 inches, that means you're uh, too close, oh, so. Oh, girl. Oh, stop. <laughs> this season on Wig Out. Give it to me, one more, one more. No, it's me being mature at the end of the day. It's not. Y'all not gonna keep shading my friends, okay? I'm not shading your friends. Cliff, you are fucking amazing. Do you have any knee-high boots? Ooh, sh That's why you wanna be a girl. Who wants to be a girl? You do. No, the fuck I don't. I came out the womb looking for dick. Oh, oh, oh. I really needed to ship them orders. I don't need no excuses. He's a boss bitch. From oops. <laughs> what the f cut the cameras? We're sold out on your class. Really? I've never seen it be this empty. It's like half a I have been working on something new, which is music. Be prepared to be criticized. You gonna cry. It breaks my heart that I even have to have this conversation with you. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'll let the rapping go. The sit to here. Clear, come to the stage! Boss bitch, boss bitch, all I ever be. Boss bitch, boss bitch, Fendi 